Hi guys, how you doing? Uh, trying to show you a little bit of this machine. Cincinnati 5 VC750. It came with a four axis. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it later on probably. Uh, the machine is being retrofitted with Mac 3. This is a pan that goes on that on the table. I'm gonna use that pan for later. I wanna do a full enclosure on the machine. ATC on this machine is hydraulic system. I got my tool table already set up for 13 tools. It takes 24. That's a high pressure pump, hydraulic high pressure pump, ATC arm. Uh, that was my first test cut, and this was a job from a company that's got a, a torque converter shop, transmission torque converter shop, four axis and a cheap Chinese uh, vise, and my tool height setter. But here, we got a LS BFD. I don't know if you guys want to know something about it. You let me know. I learned a little bit about it. About it. It's a 20 horse BFD. Uh, it cost me about eight hundred dollars, something like that. That's a cheap Chinese uh, BFD. Uh, Wuhan. I don't know how, how to say that name. Uh, that one runs the high pressure pump, and this little one here, I think it's. Two or three horse, whatever. It runs my flute pump down down here. I got servo motors on every act on the three axes, and stepper motor on uh this my relays. This relays they control all the all the outputs on my solenoids. Like I told you, hydraulic pump. The whole machine is hydraulic system. It's got a locking pin. The carousel is also hydraulic. Hydraulic motors. To, to do everything and those are the solenoid pack that controls the whole machine on here we got the arm i'll tell you a little bit about the arm and the idea i got on it i use the same plug-in did the wiring on the four axis i used me a nema 34 uh stepper several drive i don't know how they say it or what it is uh, they call it a hybrid motor or whatever it's just a stepper motor it's not a servo 220 bolt like the ones running the axis this is a factory plug-in that came with the machine i set it up put a new uh hose uh a lumen on it because the lumens on it uh they were wore out this is the kind of lumen that he had on it. I'm probably going to change this later. The four axis, it's got a brake system on it. This hole here, it's got a brake on it. The brake, it was hydraulic. So pretty much what you do, you unplug from here. And, and that's what the hydraulic brakes. I'm probably going to make me a brain, which it'll stop the, it will lock the, uh, four axis in place once if the axis, you know, is the DRO is not moving or whatever, something like that. Up here on the machine, that's where the computer and PLC used to be that control this machine before. What I don't, I pull all that out, definitely. And, and this is where all my tools are going to be. Uh, every tool is going to be sitting here. Hopefully I can make me some kind of bracket here that I can put all my tools on and and my tool set you know uh bracket here so i can set all my tools i'll put it in here inside this cabinet so they're gonna be all right on the tool i don't have to have a toolbox to have my tools on every tool is gonna be in there the other thing this machine is just to add a some kind of tape deal that that's the way you upload the code into the computer this is 1989 cincinnati 5bc 
in case you you know you didn't see it 1989 and what i did i run me a I put me over there uh, only one computer, and that's that's the main computer on this. I'll tell you why I'm saying the main computer. Uh, it's a small cabinet, that's why I run a only one computer. Nothing has to be, you know. Power supplied, my three axis, and then my four axis uh, stepper servo or hybrid or whatever you call it. I still gotta set my. Uh, my power supply i don't want this one i don't have enough power there to make it run uh pretty fast and then i'm using uh cnc for pc uc 300 control board uh want to talk a little bit about this uh this control board has got five ports so i really i, I needed to have this kind of stuff because this machine has so many solenoids to do the tool change and so many inputs and output to be able to control it with the macro that uh, I needed that much inputs. Pretty much I needed like 14 inputs and like 12 outputs to do the whole job just on the ATC. Uh, then I got a M26 uh, uh, breakout board. It also come from uh, CNC for PC. You need any of these, you call Arturo on CNC. He, he hook you up, he, he got it. Uh, whatever you need uh, they got it and, and it works good i was using some chinese box and and i mean breakout board or whatever and controller it didn't make it i have to use uh mop balls and all a bunch of stuff and i didn't so this got me hooked up uh with uh you know how easy it is and how many inputs and output i got i still got even more to use and i even got outputs on the breakout boards not even on the, on the, I got more outputs on the breakout board that I already do, got doing on the control board. Uh, Ethernet connection or all my servos. Besides this one, I'm waiting, uh, Arturo is gonna send me a little one that goes on the, on the stepper drive, uh, servo, whatever. And, and that's gonna be it on this side. So, that's the way it's set up. The reason I done it like that, besides it came this way, just in a older style, maybe, if I can say it like that. Uh, like I said, it's got, it had tapes over there and that's my main computer. And I know you guys probably gonna say, why you didn't sit it on the arm? So my idea on the arm, and I'm gonna post a video about this later. My idea is on the arm is, uh, definitely I wanna cut it, I wanna cut it, uh, thinner. It's like way too, uh, it's wide, too wide for me. Uh, it don't look uh, modern. Uh, so the idea is I wanna have here some kind of uh, maybe a 10 inch touch screen, which I already run my wire, uh, USB wire, which is gonna be connected to my main computer. So over here, I'm just gonna have a monitor doing you know the second job or or being the second monitor on on the pc uh which i just can't control the software from here but the main computer is going to be there the reason i say that and the reason i want to do that because sometimes we're trying to program or adjust any any anything on the machine and we have to be standing over there and i don't want to do that i already done that on my first conversion and i have to be sitting on a stool and it was not really fun so uh i sit down here and and you can tune and program and do whatever you want if you're gonna program here and i got my usb set up over there and it's pretty handy just to be sitting instead of being standing when you have to adjust something on a g-code or whatever so it's gonna that's the way it's gonna be down here i'm gonna have a i'm thinking about a 10 or 15 inch uh, monitor I can probably go with a 15 inch because I got 16 inch uh, from that corner here and so I have a 15 inch monitor touch screen and I'm probably gonna just sit uh, you know some kind of keyboard 
down here not this one but maybe something different and definitely i'm gonna cut this uh that box is it's way too thick it's it, it don't look modern that's it and the pendant probably just gonna be there anyway i mean somewhere you know where it looks nicer i just hang it over there because i have an idea well there you go that was my first job this was really the first cut that was the second cut i'm probably gonna attach some video about it and i got a video made on the on the four axis build when i went from uh from dc servo drive which this much this machine was dc uh to the stepper drive when i did all that i do got a video of it i'll probably post it post it later and and that's it that's what we got got several drives everywhere that's a nema 52 and i get not, i got nema 43s I, I think that's the name yeah nema 42 or 43s i think on the x and y and 52 on the on the c with the brake that's a, a 2.8 2.6 kilowatt uh c axis because that thing is 900 pounds and and that's it uh the pen normally goes on top you can probably find some pictures online about this machine i didn't find much but what i'm trying to do i'm gonna try to do a foot enclosure on the machine and probably do a video of it and so i'm just gonna cut the pan and try to fit them on, on underneath and then kind of use that uh shape of the original panel i mean pan to build the rest of the enclosure on the machine and hopefully that will bring me to what i want so i, don't, I can enclose the machine and i don't have to have coolant and chips everywhere in the shop all right thank you guys